Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody is having trouble tracing this dog. And first of all, it's a, it's a pretty big, it's 27 inches. So as always, I'm gonna make a duplicate of it. I hit the plus sign on the keyboard. And I'm gonna make it quite a bit smaller because I think Corel does a better job when it's small. But what their problem is, they think the white is not tracing or it's going away. So I just go to trace, outline, trace, clip art. And if we'll look here in just a second, after it's done, it, when you move the new trace over it, it does look like it's not there. Well, it is there. So we're gonna go to group and ungroup this, select it all and put an outline around it. So there's our outline. We'll make the outline black and we'll, we'll nudge the outline away. Now there's a couple bad spots about the dog in the trace and you really need to correct that first. And what I would do is just hit this with a shape tool, delete these nodes. Maybe you can spread that out a little bit. Kind of give it a little bit more. You don't want those double cross lines. Now he's, we got problems with his nose and his eye. But since we nudged, we can take his eye and just nudge his eye over. We can't really do anything about his collar. Uh, we'll just have to make a new collar and because it's separated. So if you'll just take your two point line and go from there to there and from there to there and well, there's already, it looks good. Uh, you could actually take it and fill it in with a black with the smart fill tool. Now we need to fix his nose because his nose kind of disappeared and it's a little rough to start with. So I would take the smoothing tool if you have X7 or above and click on it and just, well, mine was way too big. Let's make it a quarter of an inch and grab that and just really lightly hit it. Then take your three point curve line and go from that node to that node and give a little curve out. And then we could fill that in with black and then we could actually take the line away and if you ever have trouble, you can nudge that out of the way where you can more easily click on that. And then we can find that nose that's way over here and just nudge it back. <clears throat> now there's a few things we could do and I don't know if they want the dog like it was originally with the white part of the tail. You know, that part kind of went away when we did the boundary tool. It's really still there. It's like right there. So if we do this, let's put everything back. If we left click, right click, that tail is still there. We can fill that tail in with black and nudge it over and there's that part of the tail. I think his chest is white. And is that part right there is white. And of course his face is white, but if we do that, we're gonna lose part of the shape of the dog. So what I would do is leave it just like that. If you're gonna, they are, they did tell me they're gonna engrave it and then put a light gray in those spots. I would maybe take the outline of the dog, double click on it and make it like a half a point, make it black and scale it with object so you won't have any trouble when you enlarge it. I'm hoping that's helping them. I'm hoping that's what they wanted. And of course they can play around with the color. Now that I see it, the white looks a little funny. You know, you could, you could actually change that to a white and you still got an outline and depending on what you're gonna print it on, it would kind of uh, look like it's white. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.